Hey everybody, I've got a, um, it's an Epever, and it's an MPPT controller, 40 amp. Now, what I've got here is, I bought this one a couple of years ago, and we've been running solar mates successfully for a while, but I'm going to be using these models eventually. When this one first came out about two years ago, I picked it up, and it is a Tracer A-Series. Now, at first, I thought this might not be too good um, because it's small, claims to handle 40 amps, or at least I thought it was small, and it's actually much larger than the Solar Mate. If you look at my one of old videos a few years back, um, it's much larger physically, and it is actually very heavy. I mean, this thing weighs about six pounds, and it has a digital display. So let's get it unwrapped. I'm going to set it down here. And we're going to get it unwrapped. It's been in the box, believe it or not. I haven't even tested this thing. And we're going to open it up because I haven't seen much for videos explaining how this is actually an MPPT. In other words, looking at the inside of it. So we're going to open it up. Um, with it, I bought the new meter. Now, this meter. I believe will still work. It's it's a few years old, but I believe the MT50 is a stained model, and from what I understand, as long as it's still the F Ever brand, it will work with the F Ever unit. Now, there's a lot of brands out there you see that look just like this. The fact of the matter is, is they're basically knockoffs. If it's not a tracer it's not an original so you want to be careful this one here you see the real tall cooling fins on it and I suggest if you mount these don't mount them flush put you a little spacer shim you know about a quarter inch between it you know they cause the heat to rise to come up out of the unit to cool it because I'm sure those heat sinks are related to how it's uh, going to be cooled properly if they don't get enough circulation it would be a bad thing so this is the temperature probe i just recently ordered this because we're going to be using this and this is i guess a new item i didn't see it before but it is a probe and it is a cable that will plug into this unit to where it communicates with your computer through your standard um, jack here now let's go ahead and get this thing opened up so i'm going to pause for a second we're going to open it up and see if it's really MPPT or if it's a fake which are really really bad all over eBay and even Amazon so let's take a look so now I've pulled it apart uh, it's a slight pause here there is four screws that are on the back they go into these threaded brass inserts looks like brass that are inside the plastic body now the two buttons are not wired so there's no wires in this case but there is a heat sink now this heat sink you'll see that it has the paste on it and it's intended for these big diodes now these diodes are mounted on the board i'm sure they're a reverse current issue because they're over here right near the fuses and it's two soldered on the board fuses that's probably why this is a little cheaper than the tracer other tracer models however look what she has big heavy gauge this has got two torads and they are very well anchored. They appear to be in a aluminum, I believe, possibly stainless uh, tubular case that is fastened to into the, the base of the heat sink. The uh, and the heat sink is, I guess, you can say this is roughly about a half of an inch, a little more of a half of an inch, right there. Um, and they're tapered edge too so that is that is definitely professional i mean the real cheap chinese crap they don't do that with it but from what i understand is this is a also a taiwanese company uh, majority of it is and it has the control board right here with all the circuitry for it that is controlled by these two buttons that are on this and that controls these little momentary contacts right here and here now looking in here i see that the this is kind of like a high high temperature silicon wire this this wire here it appears to be pretty good gauge i'm reading it 
it is 12 you can see that 12 awg so that's quite sufficient if you think about it this is basically uh, 20 amps 20 amps and 20 amps so that's sufficient especially being a short run it looks like the capacitors in this are not just your cheap cheap brand uh, KZN is not a cheap brand of a capacitor these are 100 volt 680 microfarad and let's see, look over here and see these capacitors over here now these capacitors here would probably be your charge control you know part of where it um, goes into pulse width modulation after it's hit its bulk charge and cycles on and off that would be these two right here for feeding these two circuits it looks like an extremely well built in fact these these ain't just these ain't loose <laughs> most of them i've run into are loose for these these big um these big connectors and i'd say you could easily get six gauge wire into these out of question almost four gauge would go into that five for five gauge for sure that's quite large for your wiring to go into and as far as load is concerned i believe load shares these fuses so it's in so much in so much pulled back out i'm guessing is what it does these these two i believe if i can get that correctly focused on here these two switching circuits this switching circuit right here is what determines how this functions and it's a pretty simple unit it has has i can see right there it has a multi timing chip on it and the of this is actually quite significant if you think about it. it has a very large heat sink and underneath this down below this you can I don't know if you can get in there and see that but you have your MOSFETs that are in a row down there and they're connected underneath here this is to push it down and to connect it and your MOSFETs are under here under this right here so they're down below down there you see is your MOSFETs down there so there's four MOSFETs there and then there's four more underneath this for your two different sets of circuits so this is truly what this is is like a pair of 20 amp but with this circuit right here it allows the combination of it and it does not from what I'm understanding a very good job now I've had this sitting in a box now I thought it was cool when they came out they were pushing them pretty hard and I got this for 90 bucks 40 amp big sale 90 bucks get everybody to buy one and uh, for another uh, $38 I got this um, MT50 controller or uh, meter they call it a meter it's actually really a controller and it allows you to adjust all your parameters and you can probably go pull up a manual online but it will allow you to change all your different parameters for everything so uh, pretty good little meter I just recently ordered a temperature probe and a communications port where it goes from USB to uh, the standard co uh, computer jack I think it's eight wire eight wire eight pin um, that goes into the port right here so now I can hook it to my computer I've already downloaded the software and it seems to be okay I haven't yet tested this individual unit but being that it's by tracer and not by you know Z Z marks or whatever brand they want to throw on them then I probably will trust it all right so there's your open view of your tracer it is the tracer model there we go right there uh, this one is the 4210A so 40 amp which now you can see yes they do have the very large torads in them yes they got the heavy gauge wire yes they have the quality high voltage capacitors I do believe you can trust this but I would suggest that you probably mount this in a cabinet that you in include airflow with and use one of those little small modules that can kick on and off a fan at say you know 95 degrees or 100 degrees or something
and evacuate air and bring in fresh air to help keep this cool. Design it how you wish, but I would basically make sure I did that. Uh, the heat sink looks impressive, but you know, if you're in Texas, you, <laughs> you might want to add some cooling. If you're in Minnesota, well, you know, just maybe out of a month out of the year or something. But this little MT50 controller, it is a controller that helps you set all your parameters in this and adjust how it's going to function, when it's going to bulk float, when it's going to top off your batteries and all that jazz, and what your low start and high starts are and all that. So this technically is a controller. I suggest you get it. It's worth it. Um, I don't suggest running over 35 amps through this just because, well, it's still made in China. So, but there's the wire that comes with it plugs into the bottom after you set it all up with your computer using your communications wire and software you download from if ever if ever so make sure you get that kind and you'll learn the hard way that if you buy the one that's hst that's renergy that's any other branded on here it's honestly a knockoff of this and when you open it up, it will not look like this. It'll be 14 gauge wire. It'll be 60 volt capacitors. Don't waste your money. Pay the extra $4 on average and get the real thing. All right. Not too bad. MPPT and it's the real thing. All right, guys.